Hello and welcome to another Beehive Partner 101. I'm really excited about this video. Um, we're gonna be covering one of our, our coolest features, which is uh, our Beehive comparison resource. So this is something that we put together in order to help our partners understand the competitive landscape between Beehive and some of our closest competitors. Before we jump in, uh, this can be found in the Partner Resource Center, which is located in Notion. Um, we have a link to that in your Partner Portal dashboard, which is in uh, the portal at partners.beehive.com. We also include it in some of the emails that we send when you go through the onboarding process. So if you check your, your email archive, you should be able to find it there. Once you arrive on the Partner Re Resource Center, if you scroll down to these resources and click on Comparisons, you're gonna be taken to a, a screen that has a couple different things here. And if you click on feature comparisons, this is gonna be the first place that we check out. So this video, we went over some of these features in the uh, uh, intro video, but we're gonna do a really, we're gonna do deep dive here to really get the most out of this uh, feature and show you how to use it to its fullest. So on the left hand side here, we have a full list of uh, Beehive's features and uh, soon coming feature. So a bunch of these, if we don't have a check mark for the most part, they're going to be coming soon. Um, but I think we have close to, if not more than 50 different uh, points on which we compare ourselves against other uh, platforms. Obviously platforms are changing all the time. If you see something where a platform has added a feature and it looks like you know we haven't checked it, um, or you see something that's checked and you don't think it should be, please reach out to us. Um, we're, we're always looking for um, you know, help refining these, these documents. But essentially, what we've done here is taken all of these great features that you might be looking for or users might be looking for in an email platform, and we've benchmarked ourselves versus Substack, Review, ConvertKit, MailChimp, MailerLite, Ghost, and WordPress. In addition, we also include the plan on which users can access each feature and uh, where we have tutorials and where it makes sense, we've included links to the tutorials. Now the purpose of this uh, video and this comparison is to allow you as a creator to create content for your audiences that helps represent Beehive and share um, what we love so much about the platform with those users. So whether that's sharing the different types of features that Beehive has uh, in isolation it could be sharing some of the features it has versus other competitors. You may want to showcase specific features and, and you know, do a test demo or something like that. And you may want to include some tutorials within an article you're writing. All of that's fair game and we wanted to provide that in one place for you. Now, as you're comparing the different options, we have different uh, views here where you can click and look at Beehive against other competitors head to head um, without kind of all of the noise of every single competitor in uh, total. The only difference is basically it's, you know, the number of competitors that are listed. So uh, it just depends on, on what you, you know, whether you're considering a switch or you want to write an article for users who are considering a switch, um, that which one you use. So the next thing we can do is we can apply filters that are going to help us drill down on, you know, valuable parts of what we're doing. So for example, we have this feature category column where we've tagged each of these features with different um, kind of qualitative categories of features. So for example, if you wanna look at how Beehive stacks up in terms of customization against other platforms, you can click on that and you can see exactly kind of which, where we have the features and you know, where we have features that are coming. And in this case, all of these are coming within the next month. And so very soon you'll be able to see, we'll have a you know, very, an even stronger degree of customization compared to uh, you know, other, other platforms. Um, similarly, if you jumped on the growth tools platform or the growth tools uh, one, You'll see these two are also coming very soon, but uh, you know this is an area in which uh, Beehive prides itself on really excelling, especially versus some of our closest competitors. So this can be a fun exercise to go through and look to see you know how you can uh, you know go through and and compare Beehive to other platforms if you just want to do. Um, you know, just a, a gut check against you know just different things that you're trying to to share. Uh, we, you know, love to love to answer any questions and and you know make updates as needed and as the product evolves. So this will always be kind of 
coming together and, and improving as the product improves. So the next step, once we take all these away, is tying these back to the plans. And this is going to be another very, very powerful point that you can raise with your uh, readers or your audience. So we've done this comprehensive pricing comparison breakdown. Similarly to the other uh, page, we have one with all of the different competitors and their pricing plans. This one's a little bit less useful because each plan has each competitor has a couple different plans. Um, and as a background, we, basically we compared free plans and the users that they offer versus you know the, the maximum number of subscribers for our launch plan, grow plan, and scale plan. So uh, in this case, grow, sorry, launch and free being the same thing because our, our launch plan is free. But in some cases, um, other competitors' basic plan was not free. So we had to make that distinction. Otherwise, if we're looking at these competitors, Substack and Revview actually have 100% free models for unlimited subscribers. Um, Substack, in this case, takes a percentage of revenue for paid subscribers. Um, that's, that's their you know, monetization model. Uh, and Revview uh, doesn't take any cut. They just are a, an add-on to Twitter, basically. So we wanted to show uh, that somehow, uh, be able to show kind of an unlimited um, degree. But unfortunately, this, this field requires a number. So... Um, this is not tied to 100,000. This is actually unlimited, but you can see compared to other, you know, free offerings, the Beehive comparison, the Beehive uh, offering is, is quite competitive. We do offer unlimited sends, um, and uh, you can you can go from there. So as we look at the launch plan, these are Beehive versus our, uh, you know, basically paid competitors that have different plans. So MailerLite, MailChimp, Ghost, ConvertKit, you can see the names of each of those plans, the total number of subscribers, the cost, the number of email sends, uh, and so forth. So in this case, Ghost is the only one that charges for their most basic plan. Uh, and one of the strongest points of Beehive as an offering is that our free plan actually has the most number of subscribers for you know, any of these platforms um, that have multiple tiers. Moving next to our grow plan, which is our mid-tier plan, we offer 10,000 subscribers for $49, which as you can see uh, is a great deal compared to other competitors, especially given the fact that we offer unlimited seats and un unlimited email sends uh, for that price. And we also have a very competitive annual plan uh, savings when you up when a user upgrades to that yearly yearly model. So just on the basis of price, we're highly competitive. Um, again, the other thing you can do with this is um, you know look at the features comparison. So when you go and you can see that uh, you know every feature that we have you know on the grow plan and, and see how that you know breaks out to other competitors, that's a handy way you can do that. So we'll we'll go back and do that in a few minutes. So lastly, moving to the scale plan, this is our, our highest tier. In this case, ours goes towards uh, about up to 100,000 until we move to the enterprise plan. Um, some of these competitors, they don't have 100,000 even as an option. So we went below so that we wouldn't be kind of over uh, gauging their costs. That would be a little bit unfair. But as you can see, um, you know, highly highly valuable platform for the scale. So if you're talking to uh, influencers that have the option to, or, you know, have newsletters in the, you know, 10 to 100,000 range, super, super valuable audience to, to refer to Beehive. Uh, purely on a cost basis, um, we are a no-brainer. When it comes to the features that we, we offer, you know, we're at parity for all of these platforms. We have no limit on email sends, um, you know, no limit on seats, and we offer, uh, again, a very healthy annual savings. So these are the three Beehive plans. Obviously, other plans, you know, they become much more granular uh, from other companies. You know, usually there's like steps that occur in, you know, 500 email subscriber increments, and, you know, that's on top of the different tiers. We make it super simple that we have just three plans. Uh, once you get to the enterprise level, uh, the, the pricing does become custom. Uh, so if a user, if you refer somebody who has between, you know, 100,000 plus and 250,000, um, you know, that pricing usually comes out to about be about $500, $499, um, depending on the features that, that they want. But 
um, you know, that also is fair game for the referral program as well. So lastly, if you wanted to go and you wanted to see the different features by plan, you could go in here and select um, you know, the launch plan and you'd be able to see all the features that users are gonna get with the launch plan. Um, if you wanted to then add the grow plan, you'd be able to see all of the features that users would get on both the grow and the launch plan. Again, you can always f filter by features so you could look at uh, you know, integrations, customization, and uh, analytics and growth tools. You know some of our strongest points, and you could see you know how those stack up against the competition. Um, you know you could see that okay, great. If somebody is going to pay the forty nine dollars a month, this is all the stuff they're getting, and this is where competitors fall short. Again, you can then tie that back to the uh, you know other comparison page where we're looking at pricing and say okay, on that other screen, Mailer Lite had a pretty robust comparison, but you know at that price we beat them on price. Um, and we have a better annual plan savings. And so, uh, you know, you could then talk about some of the qualitative benefits of Beehive and that we are far easier to use and, you know, built specifically for newsletters, whereas other platforms may be more multi-purpose or e-commerce focused. So um, that is to say, we give you all these tools. We also want it to be very fair and transparent. So we're not going to be stacking any kind of biased reviews in here or, you know, making up... Uh, you know, ticky tacky features just to, to pump up our numbers. We really wanted to give and respect our partners to give them the strongest place from which to um, frame their content and to share Beehive with uh, prospective customers. So that brings us to the end. Thank you so much for, for going through this process with me. Really appreciate your time and being a valued Beehive partner. And if there's anything we can do to help you, let us know. Thank you so much and have a great night.